you so much for tuning in for this brief tutorial on navigating through Blackboard for this course, which is the introduction to business. So let's get started. After you've logged in, you want to click on this logo that will take you to the Blackboard Learn site, the navigation uh, right to the institution page. I recommend going to the activity stream. It's really a great shortcut to see what's been going on within the courses or this course specifically. You can see any new content, you can see any new discussions, any new uh, announcements and things of that nature. And I think this is a really great add on with this new integration. Next, go to courses. Once you do that, I think it's always important to start and start here. Now this is the student preview mode, so this should be relevant. You go to course specific items. You get to meet your instructor. I've put in some wonderful links here to help you with this Blackboard Learn experience. This is a playlist of about 15 videos that can help you with navigating. This is a video for Connect to understand better how to set up accounts and register. Or if you have any trouble, you can go to the website or call. As an adult learner, it's important for us to continue to, to learn. So looking at tutorials, calling tech support if we need help, that's so important. Uh, you have your syllabus that's going to talk about the class and what's expected. And the course schedule it gives you a week to week look at what assignments are going to occur. Now that may change, of course, but the instructor will let you know when it does change. After that, submitting assignments. This was specifically edited recently to show how to use this uh, submission with the connect assignments. So definitely look at that. Now I'm going to exit this preview so I can go into weekly lessons. Weekly lessons is again where you want to go to see the lessons for each week. Currently we're on weekly lesson two. You'll always have your week two uh, learning goals. You'll have your to-do list. Uh, if you're questioning what's being graded or not, look at the to-do list that shows you learn smart application, the discussion board, and the quiz. Again, learn smart, as I said before, is a really great study tool, but you need to be uh, reading and studying before you use the practice tool. You want the most accurate answers for Learn Smart. I've noticed even now people scores are a little bit low, even though it's minimal scoring, because you probably didn't answer with accuracy, right? So make sure you read, make sure you study for understanding as well as memory, so that you can get the best uh, result from Learn Smart. You have understanding economic as it affects business um, with the Learn Smart. You have uh, the discussion board as well as the chapter two quiz. So let's go to discussion. All right, well, we have some things in progress already, which is really good. And we have a discussion already going. So this is just really great to see that people are already uh, on here, can see what's going on through my uh, instructor view. So this is really it. This is really how you navigate through Blackboard as it relates to the Connect web-based materials. This again is a student view. That way you can see uh, assignments due here. If you click on week two, you'll see all the assignments. Chapter two, Learn Smart. You have the discussion board. And you have the chapter two quiz. All right. So everything you need is right here. You have your, uh, your book here. Uh, if you felt like you needed something in your hands, there's an option to be able to purchase a loose leaf one down in the bookstore at West Shore Campus, or you can rent something. So, a lot of options here. For additional practice, you can use this link. You'll see the syllabus and any recorded lectures that I have. And we'll start doing that, especially when we're not in class to give more insight on some of these lessons. Okay. All right. Well, that that is it. That is the gist of navigating Blackboard 
uh, through this course as well as connect. I hope this tutorial brought some insight to you. So continue to study and continue to watch all the different tutorials so you'll better understand how to navigate through Blackboard.